Good morning, folks. Option Addicts. It's still the first of the month, so I'm doing my list part two. We went through the patterns on the first version. Right now, I'm just looking at basically support and resistance balances, stocks I'm watching to break out, etc. You notice on my chart here, I've got Coventry Healthcare. Been bullish on healthcare ever since you can see we broke out of some uh, consolidation patterns. Ascending triangle here, for instance, as we're nearing that old resistance at 57, I'm looking for a bounce up from here. So watch it consolidate for a few days and uh, hopefully get a nice entry point on CVH. Next on this list, I've got Grant Pride Co. Uh, ticker symbol GRP. And higher highs, higher lows. Yes, watching that and watching for the higher low. So hopefully in the bigger picture here in this longer upward trend, we see it stop going down. You can see we got a little neutral candle here today. Hopefully we see some price action as it starts to rise. And hopefully we make it in on the next high. Got that on my list as well. Next, ISRG. Same thing, nothing new. Upward trend, nearing support. And hopefully, you can see here, no matter how you look at it, whether you look at it from a diagonal perspective or a horizontal perspective, you got support nearing in pretty soon. Stock's down, wait for it to stop going down. Hopefully we catch a bounce here in the 128, 127 range, and we start to move higher. It's been a dynamic stock, pretty good volatility, so looking for a good ride on ISRG. Next, Murphy's Oil, for those that remember that flag we traded, got a huge movement on this stock here. It's also getting pretty close to support. You can see it's been going down, however, albeit on some pretty weak volume. And right here, we're, you can see today's candle starting to uh, slow down a little bit. So if we catch a bounce here, I want to catch it on the next leg higher. So keep an eye on Murphy's Oil here. Next, MSM. Same thing, watching for a support bounce. A lot of these I'm a little early in, not a lot of move to the upside yet. Just waiting for these to stop going down. The stock's been rallying down pretty hard. Again, weak volume. Don't like it. So I'm waiting for a bounce here. I'd like to see some volume pick up to the upside. I think it ended up being a good trade. Next, Martin Marietta. Pulling back today. Pullbacks are good in stocks like this. Uh, good momentum stocks. You can catch it near support and it stops going down. Pick up a few shares. Also, SLB. Consolidating. Kind of sideways here. But that's good. If you miss this big leg higher, right through here, Here's your second chance to catch it. Wait for it to stop going down when it starts to break higher. Take a few shares, grab a few contracts. SLB, I think it'll end up being a good, pretty good play. On the same list, Ralph Lauren. Ooh, gaps down this morning, right below my support line. Well, I'm going to have to pass. The market only opened a half hour ago, so a lot of things have been going on since I've created this list. And this won't be one of them, so scratch that off your list, folks. Uh, Golden Telecom, let's move on to that one because here we are. We're pretty close to a, a resistance level up here at about $60 per share. Stock's pulling back. I don't want to let it pull back too much further than support right about here. Yeah, close enough. So wait for the bounce if it moves higher. I'm thinking on this next move right pre-earnings it's going to break 60 and start running. We'll, we'll see though. I, I could be wrong. I've, been, I've, I've liked this stock quite a bit as, as a matter of fact over the longer period of time. So. I'm watching it. In fact, I might use this as a case study if some of the price action starts to get better closer to that announcement. Next, Goldman in the financials. Uh, if you like financials and you don't own Goldman, you must not really like financials. So this one pulling back a little bit. Try to catch it at support before it makes the next leg higher. If you haven't traded this one, you got to find a good entry point. This is a great stock when it does move. So keep an eye on this. I want to catch it right down here at about yeah, maybe 115, 112 right in that arena. Next, U.S. Steel. This was a pretty good trade, wasn't it? Whoops, let's go uh, support line here. Yeah, something like that. Uh, there we go. Nearing it on support, stock's been pulling back right down to $100 per share. You can see right there, $100.04 today. If it holds that, which most stocks do when they first break above 100 and it bounces here, good entry point for another good stock. Health Extras, H-L-E-X. Another good uptrend. Pulling back a little bit today. I'm not too worried. But uh, if it continues to go down and breaks through this trend line, I don't want anything to do with it. But uh, hopefully we catch it on the bounce here. Maybe earnings will be positive. Maybe that will be what propels the stock higher. 
But I like the, the nice good uptrend you see in this one here. Next I've got ARW. Same thing. Boom. Trend line. Support. Like it. FCN. Same thing. Except this one here we're getting a little bit of decent price action here this morning. Good. So that's starting to move higher. Uptrending stock. I think that works out pretty good. Where are we? About halfway through. All right. I'm going to look at a couple bear stocks too. We'll get this all done in one swoop. MLHR. Downward trend. Look at it hold this gap right here. Love that. Turn down. It's continuing on down. I'd like to see this one test its prior lows. Got into this one yesterday. Wish it could have been here yesterday to pass it along, but anyhow, hopefully it continues on down. Still got a couple of bucks left in this one, I think. So MLHR. Uh, let's see, MOD. If you look at this guy, lower highs, lower lows. Yeah, we're pretty darn close there. This one's starting to turn down as well. Hopefully this one makes the next leg lower. If you look at this from a longer term chart, let's see, it's holding that pretty well. And here's a pretty good support level right down at about, you know, what, $21 per share. If it breaks through that, the stock's got a long way to drop. So I like it from that perspective as well. All right, let's see. Let's go back to a six month chart here. Next stock, USANA. USANA is just struggling. Trade I've been in for a little while continues lower. Yesterday was another good entry point on this guy. Uh, lower highs, lower lows. Look, with this, look at this one to continue uh, dropping at a nice steady pace, about fifty cents dollar per day. I mean, works out really well. So get USNA on your radar. Uh, let's look at Guess too. GES, the symmetrical triangle that broke to the downside, that came back up and retested and is now curling back down. It is a couple days late. I was looking at this one yesterday as well. Um, another good continuation out of it. I don't know. Looking at where the price target is, uh, this this movement today might be a little much. To it might be hard to get a good risk reward out of this now. But anyway, at least from a follow up perspective, it still worked out pretty well for those of you if you did trade the triangle here and guess. <clears throat> Next, Children's Place. Another triangle we traded about over a month ago. This one's just kind of stagnant. Watch for this one to roll over sometime soon. I, I'm not quite sure exactly where that happens. You can see we're pretty close to a uh, significant low on this stock. Hopefully it turns down from here. This offers a pretty good low risk entry point if you get some downside movement out of it. Uh, let's see, Robert Half, RHI. I know a couple traders have got into this and we're loving it. Well, here's that point of consolidation after the gap that's just kind of stagnant. Wait for it to pop below 33, and I think there's a good entry on this to make the next leg lower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next, Kimco. And if you watch this guy, longer term triangle, just now breaking today. Yesterday had some pretty good downside movement. So keep, keep an eye on this one. It's a, it's a pretty big pattern. And then last but not least, JBL. What I don't like is that we entered halfway through this gap. But what I do like is that it's hesitating right here at 24, which there's a history there. So the rumor that all stocks fill all gaps is a farce. In fact, that's not true at all. They are likely to, but there's some that will and some that won't. Anyway, I, if it turns down a little bit better from here from 24, I like this as a trade to test 21. You don't see it. That's all right. Anyway, so that's my list for the week. That's the full list. Part one, part two, I'm done. I'm glad we get this out there. Hopefully there's some things you guys can trade off of for this week. Uh, I need to find out a more creative way to deliver this presentation. Maybe some, some better video, some sound effects, something. Uh, anyway, so there's a couple of trades for you this week, addicts. Hopefully this stuff's working well for you. And I'll be on the blog, hopefully later today, talking about 100 reasons why you shouldn't flip trades. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.